<laughs> really? I saw something fall. That scared me and I got it on video. <laughs> <clears throat> How embarrassing. After about a six hour drive down to Georgia, we finally made it to Columbus at our renovated Airstream Airbnb. It was very cool. I had never been in an Airstream before, but they had it all renovated. They even had a nice welcome sign that was super cute. Um, it was decorated, very minimalistic and clean, um, very cozy, and we were super excited about staying in there. Definitely the main thing that we were worried about is AC and if it was going to get cold enough and luckily the AC was amazing. After we got all of our stuff settled in, we were hungry so we went and got dinner and we just started driving around just exploring, seeing what there was. I didn't really film much of it, um, but I did see this really cool tunnel. I hadn't seen a tunnel like this before, so just wanted to get a shot of that. The next morning we woke up bright and early and drove about 45 minutes south to Lumpkin, Georgia um, to hike the Providence Canyons. It doesn't pick up on camera how red the, the rock is. After about a 20 minute hike down, you get to this river area and you can't see it, but it's all red sand um, with the water flowing through it and each different branch of this river it has canyons so you hike up the river um, and then you go explore a couple canyons and then you walk back down go to the next one and repeat there were nine canyons total that you could go and walk up to um, and they had a canyon overlook trail that was about two and a half three miles long as well as a seven mile um, red blaze trail that would take about six hours we only went to canyons one through five um, they were a super easy hike um, about 0.2 miles and then it's a dead end and then you come back out and you do that five times um, and the weather was super nice there was a cool breeze we didn't get hot um, and as far as just like hiking up the canyons it was a little <laughs> harder but um, overall the hike was pretty mild one thing that surprised me is that when we first got to the park, the parking lot was actually half full. Um, I didn't expect it to be that busy, and everyone had their dogs. It was so cute. Everyone had dogs on leashes, and the dogs are going hiking, and it was just a very nice, family-friendly area to hike in. One thing I do want to note is that you do have to pay a $5 parking fee um, and you have to have a pass in your car, but that $5 obviously goes towards maintaining the state park. Um, totally worth it. Um, and they have a cute little hiking shop at the beginning of the Canyon Trail. Um, they even had like frozen breakfast that you could purchase and then microwave it in the store. They had some cute backpacks and merch and all that good stuff. Also, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering how there are canyons in Georgia, and at the beginning of the trails, it has um, a little plaque with history on it about how the canyons were formed, and back in the 1800s, farmers used some very poor farming practices, which caused the land to erode, and it's still eroding to this day, um, and they don't think that it's going to ever stop. But it'll be really interesting to see how long these canyons last. Um, you're not allowed to get up on the edge of the canyons, obviously, because it's not made of sandstone. It's made of, like, clay and dirt. Um, so if someone were to step on it, they would just fall right through or fall down into the canyon. Um, this place definitely reminded me a lot of Utah, other than there's way more vegetation and trees here um, than in Utah. But the colors are really similar, the canyon formations were similar, and it was a nice Utah vibe down in our lovely south.
think that would have been better. So after hiking for about an hour and a half, we went to the Canyon Overlook Trail just to see the canyons from up high, and then we made our way back to the car to head home. Mm -hmm.